All right, folks, uh, we're out here today. We're about to do a, I guess, a test run with the new Ryobi HP series uh, push mower or self propelled push mower here. Uh, to make sure everything's charged up last night, this morning, I guess. And uh, let's check out there. You go. All right, got four, got four uh, lights on each battery. And of course, this is what very first of March, so not a lot of tall grass to cut. So we're down here at our local school or the girls' school, and we're gonna make a bunch of long runs here, up and down. Maybe do some uphill stuff here. See, he's got this hill up and down the hill to put a little drag on it. Uh, of course, we're not gonna record the entire thing here. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna going back to this height adjustment. We're gonna run it on the lowest setting right there, which will help put some drag on the blade. And we're gonna see how long this thing will run. So let me start off if I can. Girls are actually gonna help me. They're gonna they're gonna so Pull the safety lever. Okay, well, let me go back over this thing. Some of you guys, our folks, may not be looking at the, may not see the original video that I posted on this thing yesterday. So this is a 40 volt Ry Ryobi, um, what do you call it? HP series. It's the newest um, push mowers Ryobi come out for 2021. It's a 21 inch. This is the single blade. They have a dual blade model, which is basically one um, one step higher than this and really the only difference between that mower and this mower is the dual blade and it's not really a dual blade it's like a v blade and uh in other words it's not two individual blades you know circling by itself or circling independently there's one one long shaft there uh and the other difference is it doesn't have the safety bar it just has a trigger here with a thumb press. Uh, it has a speed controller, but the um, the guy, the representative for Ryobi that was I was speaking to yesterday at Home Depot was telling me that uh, this model didn't come with this. So he was he was misinformed or he didn't sit, he wasn't in class that day maybe, I don't know. But either way, uh, what else? It's got a bagger attachment we don't, not using, I have it. I have put the mulch attachment in that little thing there with the handle right here. Is your mulch attachment? You pull it out or you push it in. Once you take it out, then you can put the bagger on. Uh, or you can leave it in and then you can put the side discharge in here also. It's a little thing that you put in there. I mean, Robbie, so far it seems like they've uh, really thought. A lot about this design uh, put a lot of hard work into it a lot of thought uh, it's a plastic deck or composite I would say plastic but uh, but it has a lifetime warranty on the deck which is cool and then the uh, I think the motor or the batteries or both one comes with a three-year warranty one comes with a five-year warranty either the motor or the batteries whichever uh, the handle completely folds down. It's adjustable. And when I say adjustable, I think you got like two notches or three notches here. It adjusts the two. Right now it's on the, right, right now. All right, so right now it's on the highest. Then you pull it up, go down one more. I, you may be able to do one more. No, just two, just two, two adjustments there. It only adjusts this way. It doesn't adjust vertically. I know uh, I went to Walmart yesterday and they had the new Heart Series. Theirs adjust vertically and uh, horizontally. They're a little cheaper. All right, so folks, let's, uh, let's at least get this started. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna, let's go see what time it is right now. Well, I got you guys on here. I'm gonna check the time real quick and we'll be right back. All right, folks, it's 10.58 right now. So, so 
once we get going here with this thing and I probably count the, the minutes of switching over with the girls, letting them take turns, it'll take up about two minutes. But uh, 1058, so we're gonna see how long it takes, how long this thing will run on a charge. So we're gonna just get you guys started and let you see what's going on here. So I can run it like this. Of course I can adjust the speed. I haven't got, I haven't got the blade on yet. I'm gonna turn the blade on now. All right, blade just came off. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. All right. This is actually a little slow for me. All right, here we go. All right, it's pulling itself. I'm not. Uh, I'm not pushing it. I'm just walking comfortably behind it. <coughs> now, in order to turn it, you either have to lift up a little bit on the front wheels. Or let off on the wheels and just turn it around. Let's go uphill here. Let's go uphill. That's a pretty steep incline too. Just pulling it. I'm not pushing at all. Yeah, I don't put a drain on some battery right there. Alright. Let's go back. This is where we came from. That's the hill. Kids over here. So you can see that's a pretty that's a pretty steep incline there. Uh, gonna go back down. Lowest setting to add friction to it. There's not a lot of high grass to cut here, folks, this time of the year. It is on mulch. So we're going to run this thing non stop until it goes dead. And I'm going to get back on here, folks, and uh, let you see or uh, let you know how long it lasted. Because at the end of the day, you guys want a mower that's going to, you know, at least cut your grass right in your yard. Alright folks, we'll be back. Alright, we're about, we're almost 10 minutes in right now. See Alyssa's doing this. Alyssa's on, Alyssa's 10. We've got it pulled down on the bottom notch for her. And uh, she's learned now that she can let go. She can let go of this right here. She can let go of this right here. And then quit doing the self propulsion and she can just spin it around and uh, go back the other way. All right, let's just show us how to spin it around. All right, stop, so she's gonna turn it around now. And, uh, and now she's gonna take it back in. And the entire time, the uh, blade was still spinning. She's adjusted with her speed. You're, are you having to push it at all, Alyssa? Fairly quiet, it really is. You see, I got it on the lower setting. It's really quiet. All you hear is the blade. All right, we'll check back in a bit, folks. All right, folks, one thing we've noticed with this thing, when you do find some grass, some thick grass, and go over it, the motor actually kicks in. Kicks in. And uh, it's not a lot here. But you can see a little bit of grass. She's just she's coming with the lower. You should hear it rev up. I didn't rev up much. We went over some grass a minute ago. Thicker grass a minute ago. section here with some grass sticking up guys we'll see what it does just how it looks in general here comes the test subject and the test subject 
she's practicing so she can cut grass at the house. This is the first lawnmower I've allowed them to cut grass. I've been allowed them to cut the yard with. So it's, it's it. No problems. Looks nice. This is a. Uh, you hear the motor kick in a little bit when it got to a thick patch. It's kind of neat. Now you can keep this thing rolling. Now this is probably if I had to have a negative, well, so a negative and a positive. When you're using self-propelled on this thing, both wheels turn. It engages both wheels. So if you got self-propelled on and you're trying to make a right turn or a left turn, you kind of have to make a wide turn or you have to rip it around really quick. That's is why I taught her, showed her how to take the self-propelled off and go down. So, uh, so whenever you don't have the self-propelled on, the wheels move independently. So it makes it easier to turn. Alyssa, turn it with, with the propelled on, okay? Just make a left turn. A right turn, okay. See how the wheels are digging in. Go ahead and make a whole turn. Go ahead. It's a little more difficult, especially for somebody her age, to deal with because both wheels are turning. All right, that's good. Go ahead. Uh, but the good thing is, is once you take the, um, once you disengage the, the self-propelled, it. Uh, the wheels move independently, so it turns like a normal mower, normal push mower. Uh, again, it's rear-wheel drive like that. Also, something else I didn't bring up in the in the other video or up until now is I think them are 10-inch wheels on the back. 10 or 11, I believe a 10. And uh, anyone that has to push a yard or has mower uh, knows that the uh, bigger wheels on the back Especially if being self-propelled makes it a lot easier to manipulate. Uh, All right, folks, we're exactly 30 minutes. 30 minutes exactly. And it just went dead. And it just powered down. So... Now that was only one battery bank. It should have been. Let's check. So which, okay, see the key's pointed this way. And it's got one flashing green light. So what we do is we take the key out, and I need to take this paper. Do it right now. There we go. Try to take the key out. Turn it over. Hang on. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit the. Hold that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so exactly 30 minutes in, exactly 30 minutes in, and it used one complete battery, and we went 30 minutes non-stop. When the girls changed over, we didn't stop it. One just took over while the other was still running. So it ran for 30 minutes with one battery. So let's just say double that, so it's an hour. So, I don't know where they get the 80 minutes from, unless it's, unless it's 80 minutes, not using the self-propelled. Now, I will tell you this, I would try to use this, try to push the lawnmower with the, um, without the self-propelled, with this grass here, it'd be on the lower setting, and it was really tough for her to push. So I, wrote, I raised it real quick, just to show her that it was because I had it so low. So that's that's adding to that's that's actually adding to is is pulling it across this ground where it's being so low. Um, now the reason I got it on the lower setting is because I'm not really cutting a lot of grass. The grass is pretty low already, so it offsets that. But at least it does, in my opinion. Of course, if anything changes when I start cutting my yard, I'll let you folks I'll update, update you. Uh, I am planning on buying the um, the blower, at least the blower and the weeder attachment to go with this, using these batteries for that. So again, 
30 minutes. Of course, I'm sure once I'm done with this, I'll, I'll finish this video up and tell you exactly how long it lasted. But this is true, this is true time. This is with the best I can do at this point with lower and the lawnmower completely down and using the self-propelled the entire time. So. <clears throat> All right, folks, we're dead. So it's been another 30 minutes. So this thing went exactly one hour, one hour, exactly. Now, one thing I can say, you know, I will, uh, I will say that hindered this is this lower setting. I've got it on this very lowest setting here. And this thing is dragging the ground, literally dragging the ground. I took control of the setting, uh, control of it from Abby a few minutes ago just to see. And you can feel it scraping the ground. You can just feel it. Go up one setting or two, and this thing's like super smooth at that point. <clears throat> now, I usually cut my grass three, two and a half to three inches high. And I have centipede, and I know most people cut their centipede real low, but uh, I just don't see anybody cutting grass as low as I was. Um, so that make that may make a difference. It may not, uh, but that's the only thing I could do to to really put a um, some drag on the thing. Uh, but still, it's not disappointing at, at all. I mean, you, you get out here and you know you got uh, say you live in you know in a, in a subdivision or whatever you got a quarter of an acre um uh, spot front and back uh even uh shoot even uh a third of an acre most most subdivisions don't have anything bigger than that and uh and you know you should be able to cut that with this within an hour uh the only other thing i'd say about it i didn't once you get out here and you're walking you know walking some kind of distance like this is i think it should be a little faster um at first it does it at first it seems like it's going pretty quick but then once you get out here and you start walking this this long field here it just seems like it it's not quite as fast as you'd like it to be now with that being said you know you're going around bushes and going around flower beds and stuff at, at home in your yard you know you you wouldn't want to go that fast with it i don't i definitely don't think i'd be using it on high speed setting whenever i'm at home but i'm not disappointed it's definitely not 80 minutes and it could wind up being 80 minutes maybe if i took it off this took it off the low setting um then um and of course talking to the guy in, in home depot i mean he he his thing was is it it was that particular model was 70 minutes with using self-propelled um, but i definitely think you could get 80 minutes out of this thing for sure without using self-propelled which defeats the purpose of buying it i mean most people want to be lazy right they want to use the self-propelled stuff now these these tires are plastic also folks i don't know if that's a deal breaker for some people and I don't know if I want to change these things out, if I could put rubber on there or if I had to use plastic, I don't know yet. Um, but it's not a deal breaker for me, but it may be a deal breaker for some. And I'm sure a lot of this stuff's proprietary, right? You can't just go buy a set of wheels and put on here. Uh, other than that, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, this is my money. I spent my money on this thing. Um, of course, I'd love to get 80 minutes out of this today. Uh, but 60 minutes is definitely within my range of of, uh, of cutting my yard. It's not going to take me 60 minutes to cut my, my lawn. So, And I got a decent size lawn, I think. Uh, but uh, I'll keep you folks up, updated. When I buy the, uh, the blower attachment, I don't know if I'm going to buy the backpack blower or what. Uh, I'll let you know. I'll kind of keep you guys updated on that. I like, I'm a real big rigid guy. I like rigid stuff. I, now, I only own two rigid tools right now, my, my two drills. One's an impact. But, uh, of course, after this here, I've always looked at Ryobi as a um, kind of a, a lower end type uh, cordless stuff um, just for the DIYer at home. 
but uh, I'm impressed with this. Uh, I'll be switching over at least some of my yard tools to Ryobi. Uh, I got a works uh, weeder and a works uh, blower. I'll keep them. I'll use them, I guess, when I need them. Or, you know, maybe me and the girls can, you know, edge or weed eat at the same time. But I definitely want to get the Ryobi, the Ryobi uh, trimmer, which uh, you can interchange different attachments and the blower or one of the blowers so uh, that's what i use the most around the house i have to trim i cut trim and blow the the sidewalks off so all right folks i'm sorry i drug this out i just wanted to kind of give you folks a real world scenario earlier in the year on what to expect with this roby uh, i would buy it again um 4.99 for this model here there's uh, basically there's Two new models for this year is this model and the uh, the other model that has the dual blades. At least that's what I've been told. I could, you know, they could pop out with a, two or three more models here in the next month or so. But what I've been told is these are two models, new models for Ryobi. And uh, they're pretty impressive, I think. That's my two cents, folks. If you would, like and subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it. And uh, leave me some comments, some feedback. And let me know if there's something you'd like me to go over on this thing here. That uh, if you're on the fence about buying it, leave it a comment. Let me know. Also, leave me a comment about this light on the front, this LED. You know, I don't cut grass at night. <laughs> so I don't, really don't have a use for it. Now, LEDs don't, they don't, they don't draw a lot of amperage. But still, it's still taking away, right? All right, folks. Like, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you.